Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll discuss how to plot a curve. We have taken a parabola. The question is, draw the graph of y equals to x squared plus 2x. Use the graph to find approximate values for minimum value and gradient of the tangent at x equals to minus 1. So to draw the graph, let's take some key values and then we are going to sketch using the coordinate points. So y is x squared plus 2x. So we'll take different values of x and uh, calculate what is x squared and what is 2x and then we'll add them. So, so that's the idea. So we'll take few values starting with, uh, let's say we can take minus 1, right? Now, how to select values is also an important thing. You can think about writing this equation as y equals to x common, right? And what you get here is x plus 2. So clearly, we do see that the graph will have two x-intercepts, one at 0, one at minus 2. So minus 2 and 0 are definitely good points to consider, right? So when we are deciding about these points, we have to also look into the points which will be of great interest to us. Uh, so as we see from here, the good values to consider definitely are, uh, let me add some more values here. Okay. So uh, we should take x value as equal to uh, minus 2. So that means we, sh we should have minus 3, right? So we have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So these are good values to select. Now the equation basically is x squared plus 2x. So let's find the square of these values. Square will be 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, and 4. 2x. 2 times x is, you have to double these values. So get minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, and 4. Correct? The y value is equal to x squared plus 2x. Correct? That really means that we have to add these two quantities. Correct? So we'll add these two and get our result. So we are going to add everything which is in between these to get our values. Clear? So, so that gives us 3, that gives us 0 as expected and this is minus 1, 0, 3 and 8. So those are the coordinate points. Now we have the coordinate points, let's try to sketch the parabola. So uh, almost at the middle, uh, we'll make this curve go like this. We also need to find the tangent at x equals to minus 1. So I'll kind of uh, place the y-axis slightly on the right side. The minimum value which we see from here is around minus 1. So, so we'll take this and uh, it goes up to 8, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, let's say like this. Okay. So that should be fine. Now, definitely the two x-intercepts are at zero. So let me mark those and then we'll plot the points. Minus two, right? So they are kind of guide for us. Okay, let's begin. Minus three is three. So this is minus three, one, two, three. So we get that point. And at minus 2, we have 0. At minus 1, we have minus 1. So that's another point. 0 at 0. At 1, we have 3. So at 1, we have 3. So you could see now the symmetry. At 2, it is 8, right? So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So once you have your points, you can connect these. And from symmetry, you could have written this point also at 8, right? So connecting these points with a curve as... Uh, we're trying to do here gives us the required parabola perfect so so that is how uh, we should be doing it and now so we've done the part one which is uh, to draw the graph of this curve and now we need to use the graph to find approximate values for minimum value so as you can see here the minimum values between 2x intercept right there we have a horizontal tangent Right. So the minimum value here is minus 1. So the minimum value is, uh, is equal to minus 1. 
right so it happens also at minus 1 and it is minus 1 correct so so that is the minimum value now part b is gradient of the tangent at x equals to minus 1 well at minus 1 there this is the turning point and we have already drawn this particular line so we have the gradient is equal to 0 since we have a horizontal tangent correct so so that is how you are going to figure it out 